So hello, and uh, welcome to episode two of Eat This Weird Stuff. Um, it's this special, um, shit. this is, you know, a very exciting time of the year. This is the special State of the Union uh, Eat This Weird Stuff, uh, an annual tradition uh, in, in the Medeiros household. Um, my roommates couldn't be here because they're lame and they have normal people jobs and I'm unemployed. Uh, so, they're in, in bed sleeping. Uh, I'm eating weird things and drinking beer. So, I already opened the package, but uh, today I'm going to be enjoying delicious, delicious haw flakes uh, brought uh, to us from the faraway land of China, uh, as is most of the weird things I encounter. Um, so, yeah, I came across this. Uh, this uh, package is devoid of haw right now. Uh, here's the haw. Here's what that looks like. It kind of looks like, you know, like you know, spaghetti, but like brown, like rotting spaghetti or something. Um, came across this at the, the Asian Food food Mart, and, um, you know, never heard of haw before, but apparently it's uh, some sort of fruit. comes from a tree. Um, you know, uh, I don't think we have haw trees in the U.S. I've certainly never seen one. I, I don't know what it would look like. Um, oh, by the way, Yingling Premium, yeah, that's a, you don't see that too often. Um, so, Haw Flakes, um, did a little research. Um, first of all, the packaging is, is fantastic. Uh, it's got all that sort of nonsensical shit that a lot of Asian packaging has. Just, you know, like, what the hell is this pink thing being sliced? It looks like a pig's nose, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's the haw fruit. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, that makes a hell of a lot of sense, doesn't it? And but why is there this picture of this man with like a, uh, some sort of an ox? Right? That's what that is—an ox. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> um, so the labeling is pretty much entirely in uh, Chinese. You know, all the symbols and shit. Uh, look at all that symbol shit. With the, with the exception of the stickers that they, they put on, telling me that this is our haw flakes. Um, the ingredients are sugar, haw, water, sodium benzoate. But again, that's a sticker, so I don't know what's really in here. You know, I don't I don't trust the sticker, especially because you know there's like random shit on the packaging. Like here's the top that I ripped off, but it uh, yeah, if you can't read that, that says uh, green ecology limitless magnificence. Um, which is clearly a poor translation. Um, so, f um, the company that made this is called Guangdong Famers Green Food Industry Company Limited. And I did a little bit of Googling. It seems that they've had a few of their products recalled by the FDA for illegal food additives and, uh, you know, food colorings that haven't been approved by the U.S. government or whatever. Um... But, you know, uh, the U.S. government and uh, Obama is, uh, you know, they're very... I want the panda. Where's the panda? Wait, what? There it is, yeah, panda. Um, yeah, Obama, who is, you know, not a citizen, um, also a Muslim. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure these additives are perfectly safe. After all, uh, it's not as if... Uh, China has ever been in trouble for unsafe food practices, you know. Um, maybe that's a little too esoteric for my viewership, but uh, you can Google that because they have. Um, so, haw flakes, without further ado, this is this is a piece of haw covered in sugar, I guess. Uh, um, once I got this open, I could tell this is like a, some sort of gummy, fruity candy thing. Uh, kind of smells like urine mixed with um, kitty litter, mixed with pineapple, um, hints of homeless person, and delicate notes of crazy cat lady, I, I would say. So, mmm, tastes like shit. This is not good. I do not enjoy this. By the way, did you hear Obama's milk joke? Uh, I thought it was hilarious. I will be adding that uh, along with the snail joke, uh, which I'm going to have to record and put on YouTube. Snail joke's pretty good. But um, these half are not very good. 
I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. On a scale from one to thirteen, I would give these like a two. I would not eat these if I had to buy them. Why would I have to buy them? That makes sense. I wouldn't eat them if they were free. I would only eat them if they didn't have lima beans available instead. This is like the kind of candy I imagine poor people ate in the 50s. Oh, I kind of wish my roommates were here to share in this pain. Look at this one. This is fucked up. Um, yeah, this is boring. I don't know why anyone would eat this shit. China must be a weird place. Um, um, so yeah, I guess that's that. Um, well, I need more beer. Oh, and this is worse than PBR. Oh, okay. See you next week. Go America.